Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how to create the custom styling for the Node-RED dashboard. Here's a preview. The color of all the groups is set to red. In addition to that, they have rounded corners, a light shadow and a bold title. A click on the button shows a notification that has the same colors. Let's get started. We start by defining the dashboard layout. For this example, we need an input and an output tab. In the input tab, we use all the input nodes provided by the dashboard. Now we create the group for every input element. We assign our nodes to the groups. This is our dashboard now. We align the nodes in our flow. We name the current flow inputs and create the new one called outputs. Here we want to use most of the output nodes. As we did for the input nodes, we assign the output nodes to their groups. Before moving on, we align the nodes. Now we have two separate tabs in our dashboard. One tab holds all the input nodes, while the other one holds the outputs. Let's start styling the dashboard. We go to the site. Here you can change the title of the dashboard. We use the standard title for this example. We can choose between showing and hiding the title bar. This is what it looks like with a hidden title bar. I prefer it with the title bar. There are multiple options for the site menu. You can choose between showing it with a click, showing it all the time or always showing only the icons. First, we select click to show side menu. With this option, we have a burger menu in the top left corner. By clicking on it, the side menu appears. The next option is always show side menu. This removes the need for a burger menu and the side menu is always visible. The last option is always show icons only. But as of now, we have the same icon for both tabs, which is very confusing. Here I forgot to assign the form node to the form group. We want to change the tab icons. I find the best way to do that is to go to the help menu of the UI button. Then click on the font awesome icons link. On the website we search for inputs. I'll use the keyboard icon. The name of the icon is fa-keyboard-o. Now we go to the dashboard settings. In layout you can click the edit button on the input tab. We enter our icon name. The icon appears on our dashboard in the side menu. For the output tab, we use a chart symbol. We use a bar chart for this example. The icon name is fa-bar-chart. We already know how to add the icon to our tab. Now it is way easier to know which tab does what. For the output nodes, we need some data. Let us create some. We need a bit more space for that. We define a function that generates a random value between 0 and 100. We use an inject node which injects every 10 seconds. The data is just a timestamp since we change it in the following function node. The name is random value. Here the random value gets generated. If we connect and deploy, we see our value in the text field. However, the value is not round yet. We can do that directly in the text node. We can use the same data generator for the gauge and the chart. As we see, the gauge displays our value without rounding it first. Also, the standard limit of it is 0 to 10. We need 0 to 100. That looks good. We also want some data for our table. We use an inject node where we send two JSON objects. 
For more information about the UI table, check my video on the topic. There is our finished table. Now we want our button to show a notification. In the input flow, we define a link out node. The name is button out. Later, it will connect to notification in. We define the link in for our notification. And we select the button out as input. We want the notification to be an OK cancel dialog. By pressing the button, our notification appears. Before we start with the styling, we clean up our flows. We start by grouping the flows. You select the nodes you want to group, go to Groups and click on Group Selection. From now on, I will use the shortcut. Now we arrange them to align on the left side. The last step is to name the groups. You can double click the group. In the menu, you can give it a name. Since the inputs are mostly just one node, we don't need to group them. Now we start with the actual styling of the dashboard. We go to Theme Settings. The default is the light style. You can also change to the dark style. Here you see the dark style. In this video, we create a custom style for the dashboard. The name of the style is Node Red Tutorials. We set the base color to a Node Red Red. With the color picker, you can go to the Node Red icon in your browser and select the red color. You can also change the font. I leave it at system default. Now we have a dark theme with some red elements. I would like to have a light theme. We set the page background to white. Same for the sidebar. The group text is the same red as our title bar. The border and background of the groups are white. The widget text and color are red, while the background is white. This is our style for now. All our groups have adapted the specified colors. However, the group boundaries are not visible. There are multiple ways to fix that. You can set the group border to a different color, for example, a light gray. Same for the group background. In the dashboard, we now see where the groups are. We have the same issue with the sidebar. Let's use the same color for that. Another option is to give the group custom styling using CSS. We create a new flow called Styling. In the template node, we can add our custom CSS. We name it Dashboard Style and add it to the head of our dashboard. Here, we can specify our custom style. Before doing that, we want to know how to select the elements we want to change. We go to the dashboard. As we want to style our groups, we right click on one of them and inspect the element. Almost every browser provides this inspection window. We search the UI card panel. By clicking through them, we see that every group is a different UI card panel. This means that we can use this as our CSS selector to style the groups. First, we define our style tag. We set the styling for all our groups. Let's start by giving the groups a light shadow around the edges. We see that every group in our dashboard has a light shadow. This applies to all the current groups and also to any groups you add in the future. Next, we want to give the groups rounded corners.
This is almost as we want it. However, if you look closely, you'll see that some edges are sticking out of the rounded corners. This is because the elements inside the group don't have rounded corners yet. So we need to find those elements. One of those elements is our dropdown. We need to give a rounded corner to every element in our group. We use the following CSS to accomplish that. I like to make the radius of the inner element a bit smaller than the one of the outer element. Now all the elements are rounded, but the radius of the group is still a bit too big. We set the radius of our groups to 5 pixels and all the other ones to 2.5. That looks how we expected. The last addition to our style is a bold group title. We inspect the title with the inspection tool. The class of this element is nr-dashboard-card-title. Let's add that to our template node. This time we need to select a class. We set the font weight to bold. That didn't work. If we inspect the element we see that the font weight is crossed out. This is because our dashboard style overrides our custom CSS. If we add the important flag to our CSS, the style of the dashboard gets overwritten. In the Node Red editor, you just need to type an exclamation mark and the editor will automatically insert important. Now our text is bold. That's all for the styling of our dashboard. I hope you enjoyed the video and could learn something.